Welcome to this tutorial video about the web application called Distributed Spatial Multicriteria Evaluation. It has been developed by staff of ITC, which is the Faculty of Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation of the University of Twente and Open Spatial Decisions, both based in the Netherlands. Let's assume that you have found a job in our lovely town. You are looking for a place to live. You would want to bring a family with young children. You can start the application from any web browser. Use this web address. We first turn to the data panel. In the data panel you can connect to data offered online by what are called web feature services. Of course you could try your own data service, but here we provide example data on our local server. You enter the address of this service and click on Get Data Info. From the service you will receive spatial service identification information and a list of map layers. Each of these map layers carries information about the layer which you can access by clicking the information button. We are interested in the data layer about neighborhoods of Enschede. Let's remove this pop-up and click on a link of a map layer and receive a listing of the indicators available in that map layer. An indicator link will open a pop-up window in which you can retrieve the data with the download indicator map button. With this pop-up window you can assess whether it is worthwhile to use the indicator. You can now also drag and drop an icon of the indicator map onto the spatial view. You can zoom in and you can use the slider bar to increase transparency. Now you could browse the indicators. As you can see I have loaded the indicators that I think could be of interest to our decision. Such as the average age, percentage of high income households, the distance to banks, schools, markets and playgrounds, but also social problems reported to the police and traffic accident reports. Next we turn to the Spatial Multicriteria Evaluation pane. Let us formulate our overall goal, objectives, criteria and indicators. Our goal was to find a good neighborhood to live in, so we type we want to find a good neighborhood to live in. Similarly, we can add an objective, we want a place nice for children, and criteria, the younger the average age, the better it is, and the smaller the distance to playgrounds, the better it is. As you can see it coming, we will now drag and drop corresponding indicator icons into the indicator placeholders in the criteria tree. So let me first drag and drop the average age indicator, and then the distance to playgrounds indicator. If you press the judge button you can indicate that for instance low average age values are better which is of course true for young families and here we evaluate that playgrounds should be nearby. Finally, we can assign priority or weights to these two criteria. The rank order of objectives and criteria determines the weight calculated. So if we want to change importance of our criteria, we have to click on these arrows. Let's have a look at the results by clicking the Calculate Result Map button. In the upper right corner you can see that the application is processing the calculation. Let's decrease the transparency and this result map shows the better neighborhoods in light orange and unsatisfactory neighborhoods in red. Click on the map to see the values of average age and distance to playgrounds 
in the spatial information panel below. Please note that a detailed version of this tutorial exists.